see if you can fill in the blanks. Yes, and see if we can do that and maybe not shout until we get to number 12. Mm. It's a life changer. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just want to read it. The life changer. Mm -hmm. My wife doesn't think I can do it. <laughs> oh, ye, her little face. The life changer. Yes, the K word is the key. Yes, Fill it in. It's the key. And the life changer which is the key is seeking. Mm -hmm. The S word is seeking and searching. Yes, Your life will change when you get the key. Yes, and I know that most of you all that are in this sanctuary today are already believers. Yes, but even for believers, yes. you're doomed for an upgrade. Amen. All right. Even for believers, uh -huh. this is your season for a change. Change is not so bad if it's a change for the better. Yeah. You dread change because we usually have a fear that it's something bad. But if you are a seeker and a searcher for what God has for you, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. your life change is right on time. Amen. Please somebody say right on time. Right. Don't shake the devil off. Just say right on time. God knows you need a change in your life right about now. It may not be another job. It may not be another cop. It may not be another doctor. It may not be another neighborhood. Can y'all hear me? It may not be, it may not be another medication. It may not be another lawyer. It may not be another husband. It may not be another wife. It may not be another church. Yeah. It may not be another ministry. And I say, I'm ready for my change. Yeah. And the change, the key is seeking and searching. <laughs> There's two words in the Bible for that word seek. And the Hebrew word bakash mm -hmm. is the word that really is translated um, seeking. Mm -hmm. Seeking. And that word actually means to look. Yes. To look, open your eyes and see. But the word darash, search, means to inquire. Yes. Or the EX word is example. Mm -hmm. yes, An old word is the word rub or blaze a trail, where you keep continuous and intense action. That's searching. Seeking is when you look in the right direction, but searching is when you turn up the heat. You keep on with intensity. You build up a fire. You make a whole new trail for God to move in. And what God said will be the life changing for you is when you have the bakash and the darash. Uh -huh. Seeking and searching. You start out seeking, but you're going to end up searching. You start out just looking up to the hill. Can y'all hear me? I wish y'all said you got to look in the right direction. But once you look in the hills, you lock your vision on what is beyond the hills. My help. Coming from the Lord. Somebody say seeking and searching. See provides urgent. The N word is information. When you're seeking and searching, you're going to get information. And that information will largely be about the S word yourself. Don't turn out, but in Genesis 25, 35, 25, and 22, Rachel, or rather, um, Rebecca, mm -hmm. said, there's something inside of me that I don't understand. Wow. Seems like I'm pregnant, and I could not get pregnant. Mm -hmm. And then it seems like there's more than one personality uh -huh. in my womb. Yeah. And the Bible said she 
she sought the Lord yeah. about what is going on inside of me. And when she sought the Lord, he told her there are two nations inside of your womb. Well. Sometimes when you're seeking God, you find out what you need to know about yourself. I don't have long here, y'all. You think you need to know something about what's going on around you. But the first stop is God will show you what is going on in your own. You can't give yourself an x-ray. When have you ever seen anybody give themselves an MRI? That is due to be changed. Yeah. In nine months, Jacob and Esau uh -huh. were born. Yes. And it looked like Esau was going to come through the birth canal first. Uh -huh. And right as the first one was coming out, Jacob said, not so quick, brother. And grabbed him by the heel yeah. and said, you're not going to ever be a step ahead of me. Yeah. Found out that God was still something inside of her to demonstrate you always have a surprise. Amen. If I say surprise, you say surprise. Yes. You'll make the second the first. Amen. You'll make the last first. Yes. You'll make the first last. Yes. You'll make the darkness light. You'll make the light darkness. Don't ever think you'll get the right information until you seek God because there are things in your life that are not the way they appear. I wish somebody say it's going to be a change. Why don't y'all say, I need the right information. Go to your psychiatrist, they might help you. Go to your therapist, they might help you. Go to your accountant, he might help you. Go to your attorney, she might help you. Go to the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. But if you really want correct information, you better seek God. Correction. Yes, Lord. Correction. Yes. For gross, the G word there is gross mistakes, yes. shortcomings, and the S word sins. That's what seeking God will do. I'm going to ask you to look at that passage in Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 29 because never, usually we don't think about seeking God fixing what's broken in our past and in our future. Mm -hmm. Turn to Deuteronomy chapter 4 if you can in your Bible. Just look at that reference. And I've given you many that you can have for the present and the future. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and 29. You got it? But if thou from thence shall seek the Lord. Will you find him? Yeah. You'll find it. How you gonna find it? Seek the Lord with all your heart. Seek with all of your heart. And all of your soul. And um, even when you're in tribulation, all these things will come upon you. Even in the latter days, if you turn to the Lord your God, and you're gonna be obedient unto his voice. The Lord, my thy God is merciful. Will he forsake you? No. He'll never forsake you. And neither will he forget the covenant of your fathers which he swear unto them. Please somebody say he'll never forget. He'll never forget. And not only that, he says, um, I'm going to look in verse 33. Did everything be the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire as you've heard and lived? Anybody ever has God, let's say, to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation? Anybody see the temp by temptations and signs and wonders and war and a mighty and by outstretched arm? Great terrors according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. No one has ever experienced what God has done.
done for you. And no matter what your weakness is, thank you, Jesus. No matter what your shortcomings are, no matter what your sins are, God will correct what's wrong with you when you seek Him. And I want to tell the sanctified people over here today, and over here, and over here, and over here, there's something in your life that needs to change. You can be, you can be saved and yet have a weakness. Can I just talk? You can be saved and have a bad attitude. I know I'm in the church of God in Christ. You can be saved and hold a grudge. Do you know you can be saved and have a bad habit? Yeah. You can be saved and be out of balance. Let's go to Redstone. Glad you're here today. You can be saved and move at the wrong pace. You can be saved and be at the right place at the wrong time. But when you seek God, He will correct whatever is wrong in your saved life. Thank you, Jesus. Now let us lay aside every way. We haven't got to the sin, but there's a way. Some people are late when they ought to be on time. He can correct that. Some people are too quiet when they ought to speak up. That may be a way. Some people eat too little. They just don't eat enough. Tell your neighbor, I know that's not you. Tell your neighbor. Some people, they talk with the mouth food. You can't have a ministry going on because you got food flying through your teeth while you're trying to say the Lord, my children, I'm telling you, I want. You may need to help. You can keep somebody from the kingdom with the meat you flying through your teeth. Yeah, that's real nasty. <laughs> See, God will tell you how to use better manners. Amen. He'll give you wisdom that you never had. You know, you can be saved and write bad checks. Amen. You can be saved and have bad credit because you don't pay your bills from here on off. Do you know you can be saved and be rude? Yeah. Just rude. Yeah. But when you seek God, He will give you understanding. Yeah. God will change your life and beautify the meat with salvation. Somebody say it's about seeking God. And when you get to number E, do not confuse. Seeking God for the quick fix. That's the F word. Fix. And high stakes when you are already vulnerable. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Second Kings 1, there is a king who was sick. Mm -hmm. Maybe this will be the last one I ask you to turn to if they don't put it on the screen. Second Kings chapter 1. And watch how this worked. Second Kings chapter 1, verse 2. And Ahaziah fell through a mattress in the upper chamber that was in Samaria, and he was sick. Mm -hmm. And he sent messengers and said to them, inquire. Inquire. There's that word again. Darash. Inquire of God. No. Belzebub, mm. the God of Ekron, whether I shall recover of this disease. This is the king. And maybe he would not have made this mistake if it had come when he was well. Mm -hmm. But he had a fall. Yes. He fell through the roof. Sure and when he fell, he got sick. Yeah. And when he got sick in his body, he got sicker in his soul. Yeah. Do you know that the enemy knows when you are most vulnerable? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody say vulnerable. That's the V word. Can I spell it right? V U N E R A B L E. There are times when you are vulnerable. Now, the Father said preachers are most vulnerable after their best messages. The anointing can be so saturated, you let your guard down. Sometimes you're more vulnerable after your greatest blessing. When things are going your way, thank you, Holy some people cannot, Brother Jake said, they can't stand to be blessed. Because the more they're blessed, the more they take their focus off the blessing and put it more on the blessing. Say yes. People 
people get jobs and they tithe well until the money goes up. And as the numbers go up, the tithe go down. Get a better car and they don't worship as much. They get a good house and they start playing the boogaloo music and having house parties, smoking weed and drinking liquor. They get a good wife and beat her around like she's a punching bag. Get a husband and won't put anything but uh, acid in the coffee and uh, hot eggs on the shower. You got to learn that there are times you're vulnerable. Yeah. But when you're vulnerable, can y'all hear me? Yeah. When you're vulnerable, don't stop seeking God. Don't, seek, don't, don't stop seeking Him because you just want a quick fix. Because you just want a good feeling. Can y'all hear me? Seek Him because He's a life changer. Everybody say life changer. And the next one, number E says, well, who you consult is decisive. The W word, who. King Azariah did not recover. But the Syrian king, seven chapters later, did recover. Mm -hmm. Both kings got sick. Mm -hmm. Azariah was Hebrew. Yes. He got sick and did not recover. Ben Hadad was the Syrian king in chapter 8. He got sick, but he did recover. Well, why would the Hebrew king die from his sickness and the Gentile king recover from his sickness? It's all in who you see. You see, when you read that text we started with, he never said, seek it. He said, seek me. Maybe I'm about to leave y'all now. I'm seeking for a promotion. Wrong answer. I'm seeking to get the special reward. Wrong answer. I'm seeking to get a new neighbor. Wrong answer. I'm seeking to get a better job. Am I saying anything? Yeah, I've got to go this way today. No, I'm seeking a better job. Wrong answer. I'm seeking for my granddaughter to get the scholarship. Wrong answer. You never want to seek it more than you seek him. You will find me when you search for me, for me, for me, with all of your heart. Say yeah. And many times the saints get short-circuited because they are seeking things Come on, Come on. rather than seeking him. Yeah. Seek ye first the kingdom, the kingdom of God yeah. and his righteousness. Yeah. And all of these things, these things shall yeah. be added unto you. Say yes. Yeah. Yeah. You really, you really, you really. Do you know what's the telling? This is the shoe I have on my foot right now, isn't it? And this shoe has a string. And I want the string. And this shoe has a tongue. Oh, I really want the tongue. This shoe has a heel. The heel helps. And at the bottom, this shoe has a sole. No holes in the sole because I had to re sew this whole shoe. This shoe has some leather. I like the leather. But do you know what I really went, got when I went to the store? I did not say I want a string, I want a tongue, I want a sole. I want to heal. You know what I wanted? A shoe. And if I get the shoe, I see y'all want to hear me. If y'all mess, I'm going to take this shoe off and dance. If I get the shoe, I get the tongue, I get the string, I get the leather, I get the heel, I get the soul. If you seek him, you get everything you need. Say yes. You don't have to ask God to give me a new family. I'm going to seek him. He's going to fix the family out here. I don't have to ask, the, I don't have to ask God to give me some more money. If I seek him, when I get more of him, money coming. I don't have to seek God for a new bed. If I seek him, I'll get rest. That's beyond compare. Say yes. I don't have to ask God for 
Get happy. 